I request uh, Honorable Mr. Justice Manmohan to please address the bar. Mr. Justice Manmohan, please. Respected Justice Agni, Chief Justice Designate Uttarakhand, Justice Siddharth Mudu. He always brings a surprise. He just told me he has a bad throat. So I must be. Mr. Mohit Mathur, your President, Abhijat, Secretary, Mr. Chetan Sharma, Judicial Solicitor General. My brother and sisters, learned friends. Mohit has talked a lot about the legal achievements of Justice Sahib. I am sure my brother Justin Radul would also talk about them at length. But I will speak a little personal or give a personal touch to this proceeding. In fact, uh, my association with the Sanghi family is quite old. In fact, uh, when I just started my legal career, I used to work in a firm by the name of J.V. Dayasanji. And I used to regularly brief his father, Mr. J.L. Sanghi. And he had a unique uh, characteristic that whenever we would get stuck on a point, he would use his wit and disarm the other side. I still remember we were doing the Nazan Jewelry Trust matter arbitration in uh, Calcutta and uh, in the examination in chief we had shown photographs of the jewels whose valuation was to be done by the arbitrator. And when the argument started, the other side, uh, Mr. Gauri Shankar who was arguing for the Union of India said, look they produced these photographs, these photographs have a price tag. And the price tag discloses that these jewels were purchased only for a few thousands. And now they are asking for a few crores as uh, compensation for the state acquiring them. So, and he pressed home that point rather hard and we felt that the arbitrator has started swaying on that argument, swaying with that argument. So, Mr. G.L. Sanghi immediately understood what the situation was and he said, uh, Mr. Gauri Shankar, this price tag is only the tag is only the price for showing these photographs to you, <laughs> not the price of the jewels. And really, the arbitrator had a hearty laugh, and that was the end of that argument. <laughs> then I met Vipin <laughs> at the bar, and I found that he carried that streak even further. He was actually a prankster. <laughs> See, one of his dear friends told him that uh, I had a very close friendship with a person in, in 11th and 12th class, but I have not met that friend for last 10 or 12 years. So what Justice Sanghi did was, he contacted a friend of his who was a printer. He inserted one page in the evening news which was published in those days and in that paper, in that paper which he had inserted, he put an advertisement saying looking for a friend <laughs> and it was addressed to Mr. Sai's friend and he went and showed that paper to the friend and said look that person will be waiting for you at such and such place at such and such time. That friend believed it and went to that place only to be, only to find Vipin there. <laughs> so, his pranks were unbelievable. In fact, he is very fastidious about his, about his meals. And he can go to any length with regard to his uh, meals. So once he invited a few judges saying that his niece was getting married in a five-star hotel and we should all come there for the marriage. So we all landed up there and uh, naturally the food was exquisite. So we were all having chicken and prawns and we all landed up at the table where Vipin was also sitting and uh, 
When we went to that table, we suddenly found that a cooker had been opened. <laughs> and from there, he was having his karela and theplas. <laughs> so, that was just a sagi for all of us. In fact, you know, when I joined the bench, I must say, it's like restarting a life. It's a new life because the people with whom you have coffee, with whom you have lunch, with whom you, you know, spar at the bar are not there with you any further. And really, we developed a great relationship. And in these 14 years that we were together, we would try to have a cup of tea together every day if possible. We had our differences. We would disagree on various issues legal issues, administrative issues. But we maintained civility and we had great high personal regard for each other. And it was a pleasure traveling with, with Justice Sagi. If you went out of station, you would never be short of food. Theplas and Karelas would always be available, even for breakfast. So, Mr. Sangi, I am going to miss you the most in this court, I think. And uh, really, it was a great tenure. 16 years is a very, very long tenure in any court. And I must say, you performed well, played your innings very well. And uh, I wish you the best. For the second innings. Thank you.